Good morning, Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. This is a little complicated. This is important. This is about stuff you may not recognize or that has changed basically because of time. Time. That's a real integral part of this. Your 401k, your retirement plan, all of the things that you think about, your money in the U.S., all right? Even Social Security. We are going to talk a minute about what happens when you die, all right? And what's going on with this. It's real simple, but very, very detailed. We apologize, but there's nothing we can do about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, first things first, we are not financial advisors. Seek professional advice from a certified financial planner that is experienced and has your best interest in mind. Let's talk about what's been also been going on. The stock market, for those of you that have 401ks, all right, in addition to your disability, in addition to your uh, settlements, in addition to anything, all right, a vast majority of you have 401ks. In fact, it's very uncommon for people not to have 401ks unless they've purposefully cashed them out. And people do that. They have the need to do it. They felt it was the best thing to do at the time, and perhaps it was. Who knows? But the vast majority of you do have that. And that 401k, if you haven't been tapping it, all right, or even if you have, has grown significantly over the past couple of years, or it should have if you have it decently invested, just even on an average invested in the money markets and things like that, EFTs. So let me give you an idea. And we're not bragging, okay? I want to get that across, but we've got to show you, at least explain basically why it could matter so much to you. And in order to do that, we use ourselves as an example. It's the best thing we can do because it's something we personally actually experience. So I'll begin with, hey, look, we try to be informative. We try, the channel tries to give you relative information. The channel tries to entertain you. We try to do everything we can to make the experience of watching this not totally dead monotonous. With that being said, if you appreciate the effort that we put in, please do subscribe and please do hit that thumbs up. Okay, the stock market. Well, let's say how strong has it been? All right, us as an example, we don't touch any of our cash in the bank in the U.S. or banks, all right? We don't touch it. We live on a, my Social Security and an allowance that we take, a distribution that we take from my 401k every month. Both of those go into our U.S. bank. We wire that money into our Philippines. We don't wire the total amount. We wire a percentage of it into our Philippine bank. We save a percentage in the U.S. And we save a percentage here in the bank in the Philippines. And we live off of the rest of it. The past year, actually the past two years, we have actually made more money in our 401k than we've taken out, all right? You may very well be in that same situation. It doesn't matter how much more or how much less, but you've been making money. 
you can't possibly have had a 401k that didn't make money in the past few years. What happens when you die with that 401k? Very important, because this applies across the board. It doesn't matter whether you are married to a Filipina, whether she has a social security number, all right, whether she's ever been to the United States, none of that. She still can have access to it in varying degrees, all right? Now, Social Security, a different matter. And we're going to go into those varying degrees in just a minute. Social Security, that's not what this is about. The rules for Social Security are easy to look up, easy to take care of, figure it out. Your military pension, you know what she's going to qualify for, if anything. All of those things we don't talk about. The next thing is, is we have no idea how this works in any other country, okay? We don't have any idea because we don't live there and we don't have the benefit of that 401k. Now, let's get down to the brass tacks. Number one, a spouse can inherit a 401k. I don't mean beneficiary to, you know, disposing it. There are th basically three ways. Again, check with your financial advisor. That money can literally stay in your 401k, all right, and take distributions just like you currently are. And she doesn't even have to have a social security number. Um, actually, yes, she would need a social security number for it to stay in your account. All right. Number two, she can be the beneficiary. All right. And if she's a beneficiary and she has a social security number, she'll get taxed just as normal. All right. But there won't be a early withdrawal fee. However, if she doesn't have a social security number, let's say you want your spouse or it doesn't even have to be a spouse, all right, here in the Philippines. You can leave that 401k as a beneficiary to anybody, but there's going to be a 30% hit on it. It's a non-resident alien allowance. That's what the law says in the U.S., these things are not uncommon. They're easy to happen. You need to prepare for these things. You need to prepare for all of this. Finally, she can roll it into another 401k completely tax-free, all right, until withdrawal, obviously, if she has one already in the U.S. So your options there are big. And the point that we're making with this is, is that if you're smart, if you're even halfway smart, your 401k may have money left in it when you pass away. How are you going to take care of that? Some of you may not leave it to your spouse or girlfriend or partner. It may go to a child. And those rules are different also. But here in this video, what we're talking about is those of you that are planning for the future of your spouse, all right? The rules for Social Security are pretty cut and dry. You can look them up, all right? If I get enough demand for it, we'll go into the rules for Social Security. A lot of Filipinas will not qualify at all for survivor benefits, okay? There are resident timing that's needed in the U.S. and even then age limitations. But your 401k is immediately available, and you need to set it up, okay? You may live in the U.S., have a long-distance relationship over many years with a partner in the Philippines. What's going to happen with that 401k money? You know, contrary to popular belief, contrary to all the shit you see on YouTube, YouTube only represents a small fraction of the number 
of Americans living in the Philippines or having a sustained relationship and or long-term commitment to the Philippines. There's money out there, a lot of money. People have money. Don't think they're all broke. Sure, there are a lot of people here on a budget. You'd be surprised. The people that are wanting to live on these smaller budgets, they may have a good amount of cash available to them. They just don't want to use it. They don't want to play with it. They don't want to waste it. It sits there in an emergency. So what I urge you to do is to take a look at how your 401k benefits can be taken care of. Call your broker, call your 401k plan administrator, show up, make an appointment, do whatever, okay? These things are important. Then prepare because they're not going to Western Union or Zoom or wise the money to somebody. The money has to go into a bank account, all right? Or it, I, I can tell you with our 401 company, 401k, plan administrator, they'll put that money in any registered bank practically in the world, as long as it doesn't have sanctions against them. That being said, they're not going to send it um, to them on a, uh, a money remittance. That's the best word to use for it. Okay? So with the benefit of what's going on, because the economy is going to get worse. The economy in, you know, we talked about the housing bubble. You know, we have spoken about the housing bubble in the U.S. over the years, we've all seen it, all right? The mortgage bubble, everything that goes along with it. Worldwide, we are approaching that point again. And in the Philippines, that point is also going to be approached. Prices for property, land, and everything else continue to rise, way outpacing what it's getting. So, you have to be prepared for that. You have to think about it. You have to understand it. If you're really interested in how we do our banking, all right, without the details, obviously, then put it in the comments below, and we'll do a video in depth about how our banking works. Okay, we try to shy away from that a little bit because we've been accused of flaunting wealth or of playing the big shot, and that's not what it is. We're trying to give you information. We're trying to show you this is how we take care of it. It doesn't matter how much it is. Every dollar is a damn dollar. It doesn't matter if you have a dollar extra, $10 extra, $1,000 extra. A dollar is a damn dollar. All right. Don't let the trolls shy you away from trying to save yourself some money to prepare for your future. And if you're a good man, to prepare for your spouse's and children's future here in the Philippines and in the U.S. All right. I mean, we've never even touched about, you know, how we take care of my daughter in the future. So, let us know in the comments below how you feel about it. Let us know what you think. But don't think for a minute that this video is made to be bragging. This video is made to say, hey, a lot of you are in positions that you've made money on top of the money you already have. Don't waste it. Don't throw it away. Utilize it wisely because time and money both work hand in hand to your benefit. Please tell us in the comments below. Thanks. Have a great day.